NFL Week 8 Anytime Touchdown Props. I'll give you my three favorite plays. We'll wrap them up into a plus 682 pay dirt parlay. And I'll also give you a plus 310 long shot play. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com, and I have a great special offer to share towards the end of this video. But if you guys enjoy this content, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments section who do you see finding the end zone in week eight. I'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So it's it's time for a bounce back. Plain and simple. It was our worst week of the year. Brutal week seven. Nobody scored for us. J.K. Dobbins, Chase Brown, Josh Allen. Even on a long shot play, Demario Douglas doesn't score. Um, he wasn't listed prior to the game with an illness. And suspiciously enough, he only plays one snap right at the beginning of the second half. But regardless, next time you see me on this video, we will be busting out that broom. Starting with number one, Kareem Hunt, minus 135, over at FanDuel. He scored three touchdowns in his last two games. And he's been super high volume, 49 carries, 62 touches in those games. Chiefs rank sixth in rushing attempts. you got to expect Hunt to get the bulk of that workload like he has in the last three games. Raiders, eighth most yards and touchdowns allowed to opposing running backs, 4.8 yards per carry allowed on the ground, and they have allowed a running back to score in six of seven games on the season. If someone's going to score as a Chiefs running back, I'd expect it to be Hunt. Raiders did beat the Chiefs last year on Christmas Day. However, at that point, they ranked ninth in points allowed. Totally different defense this year. This year they ranked 29th. Chiefs favored by 9.5. I fully expect them to roll. I expect Hunt to score. I think you could combine the Chiefs money line with Hunt to lower the juice. But we'll play it safe and just stick with Kareem Hunt at minus 135. Number two, it's time for some redemption, redemption for J.K. Dobbins. Minus 130 at DK. Uh, he's facing another vulnerable run defense he couldn't score against the cardinals on monday night football but he's facing the saints fifth most yards and touchdowns allowed to uh, running backs and they're right there with the raiders with 4.7 yards allowed per carry they have been absolutely gashed in the last two games 225 rushing yards allowed to the broncos 277 allowed to tampa bay Dobbins has only scored in three of six games, but he's got, uh, gotten 59% of the rushing attempts for the Chargers. He's also gotten more than half of the red area carries. Gus Edwards still on the IR. Chargers favored by seven. I expect Dobbins to find his way into the end zone again for us this week and uh, make some redemption for letting us down last week. Number three on the list, going to go to a wide receiver at plus money, A.J. Brown from Philly, plus 145. Over at FanDuel, he scored in every game he's played this season. He's 3 for 3, and in those games, he's also had all three games, 5-plus receptions, 89-plus yards, 28% of the target share in the routes that he's run. He scored 3 of the 7 Eagles receiving touchdowns despite only playing 3 games. So now he's facing the Bengals, 20th in points allowed per game they've allowed uh, 1.6 passing touchdowns per game that's 24th in the nfl safety geno stone has been limited or missed practice all week and he's questionable with a leg injury so we could see an even more uh, vulnerable cincy defensive backfield wrap them up hunt dobbins and brown plus 682 pay dirt parlay before we get to the long shot i wanted to let you know you can get an all access pass for me over at sports memo for 239 dollars that's all sports and we are loaded with sports tons of plays right now five percent nfl plays were number one for player props in 2024 college football play of the week 16 and 9 lifetime we've cashed three of the last four we're in action in the mlb 4 and 0 run plus 51 units since mid-june and we've started out the nba season strong pulled in a profit in all uh three of the first nights of the year and we have that nba season pass still available 
$499. That's $246 off the price. It's a smoking deal. And um, we were number one in the NBA postseason last year. So it's a great time to invest in an all-access pass with so many sports going on. And like I said, you get it for $239 over at Sports Memo. As always, link to my plays in the pinned comment. So you guys looking for the long shot play? David and Joku, plus 310 over at FanDuel. So in his first game without Amari Cooper on the field, team highs 10 receptions on 14 targets. Fell just short of the receiving yards, team high with 76. He scored a touchdown. Key here, he was targeted on three of the 11 Jameis Winston passes. He will be the starting quarterback this week for the Browns, and he caught two of those passes, including his touchdown pass, so he's already been building a rapport here with Winston. Uh, Ravens, perfect team to throw on. Most passing yards allowed. Obviously, a part of that is them to playing ahead a lot, but least rushing yards allowed. They are favored by eight. We're gonna, Browns are going to need to throw in this game to keep up with the Ravens. And we got Winston at quarterback. So I'm sure Cleveland Browns are pretty happy about that. So David and Juku, plus 310 over at FanDuel. That's our long shot play. Go back to our regular plays. Dobbins, Hunt, and A.J. Brown. Wrap them all up for that 682. Pay dirt parlay. There's always a link to my plays in the pinned comment. Always have free plays at sportsmemo.com as well as at X at stevesbook Twenty Two. If you guys could drop a follow that would be great and uh comment on your way out and like the video if you would as well good luck this week see you with that broom for week nine's video